What's up, Squirrelgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to play some more ranked, and unfortunately, I took a huge dip on the ladder. Um, all the way down to 19. Um, lost about 150 rating, but I'll, I'll be back up there in no time, I hope. And the deck I'm going to play is Mono Growth. This is my Mono Growth deck, guys. Link will be in the description to it. A lot of people have been playing all sorts of decks in the ladder, and I tried playing with Grave Locks, I tried doing Mono Energy Range, I was just uh, Control Decay, Late Game Order, and I kept on losing to Growth. So, if you can't beat him, join him. So I'll just be playing Growth. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm on the edge right now if I should have Earthen Mirths or Stag Carts. Right now with the Braves and the Earthen Mirth, it's like not as late game growth as as you think. Like it also has like quakes and like fertile soils. But it's like late game enough with the ancestral totems that it could beat like stuff like decay and like energy by like quaking later in the game. So, you know. And Jevodon. Hello to you and good luck. Um so well again because there's no two drop. Hopefully I get a two drop now. No tutor, this hand is even worse. But I definitely would mulligan in that situation all the time. So I got rid of the Crimson Bull. And hopefully I can top deck a two drop or a three drop soon. And Decay. Decay used to be growth, so this is a three drop. I'm not sure if I want to play it turn three. I'll get rid of the Rally. Decay used to be growth's like hardest opponent, but I don't know. I feel like. I've been beating Decay with growth sometimes now. Um, maybe we'll put three cost and I'd like to save it. I'd like to save it for for like when there's a when there's a wolf on the board, or like a great wolf. But I don't know if I should put the Vengeful Vetter. But the Vengeful Vetter can just get like languid and it's nothing or it gets soul stolen. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna get rid of the Vengeful Vetter and just play the Mangy Wolf. Because I don't want to just play it and it gets soul stolen. I um, mean, against energy, you try to have things above like at least four health, so they can't get burned. Against K, um, it's not as important as like the burn stuff because burns like like soul seals is still very good. So soul seals is still nice to burn. Like you, if you have a creature at two health, you gotta expect it's gonna die to decay to the soul steal. Um, I'll get rid of the qu early quake. I think I can compete with him like this. And. Yeah, I'm gonna move down. I could just stay up there, but if I can get some extra damage in, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that Trizen because it only has two attack. Wouldn't do too much damage to me. Infectious Blight. So good thing I have Fertile Soils in this deck. I'll have to, I'll have to use a Fertile Soil when I get to it. Uh, I will sacrifice the Mirth for Scrolls. And I'll play a Rat King. Or actually, if I play a. No, I'll play the Rat King. So at least this provides a lot more targets for the Blight to jump to. So. You kinda get it. Like, I'd rather just be, like, slowly taking down rats than my more important creatures. Alright, Damon Curse there. So that's not too good. Okay, um. I can play this to make the Mage Wolf. Yeah, I'll just play that. And I'm actually gonna. Get rid of. This Ragged Wolf. And go for a resource. I wanna ramp up a little bit. Okay, so now next turn I can play the Mystic. Mystic will have all my creatures that have the Blight will get to will get to have one extra attack. So that's pretty awesome. Soul Steel. Ah, oh, that was a. There's a two-fifths chance that that would go that would end up in a bad spot for me. 
really want to land up here, one of these three, so I can... Actually, no, actually, there's only a two-fifths chance for it to land in a good spot for him because he can move away. If I land in, in like, any one of these rows, I'll be able to destroy it with my rats. Um, I'll get rid of the Crimson Bull right now. And it's time to get started with the, you know, some firepower. So put these guys down here because they'll be directly attacking that Myra Shambler. And you have the Blight. Uh, I'll damage middle idol first. So, so far so good. Even though there's a blight going around. Hopefully I can draw fertile soil soon so I can get rid of the blight. That would be great. I only have two fertile soils in the deck though. There's another blight. Well. Let's get rid of the crimson bowl. And it wouldn't be too bad if the Blights went on the Mystic, because then I could kill it with, like, its effect, hopefully. But whatever. Um, let's just get more rats down. And hope he doesn't have, like, a Baleful Witch, like, Baleful Witch, Bloodline Taint combo. I don't know, I just, I have to get... At least I'm killing Marsh Ambler. I have to get rid of these Blights. Best case scenario, they both pop on, like, a rat, then I could... And then I fertile soil it. So, gimme fertile soil deck. That would be greatly appreciated. There's nothing for me to veteran this turn. Um, going for a god hand would be good, but my di things are dying so quickly. So what is infectious blight? You two, two rats. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Let's draw an enchantment. It is an air then mirth. Uh, let's get rid of the rallying. I know I should probably keep these rallyings. There's a god hand, okay. So let's play the mangy wolf because a veteran this turn doesn't really do me much good. And continue to deal damage. Okay. Now, he has the Halls of Omelasa, so he's really ramping up. And there is, uh oh. That is not good. If I have a Quake right now, I would consider playing it. Um. Let's let's keep let's draw for scrolls and there's a fertile soil. So do I play it this turn or do I do I hope they land on the same thing? That would be a really all right. You know I think I have to get rid of the harvester right now, so I'll do that. Okay, I don't know why I'm moving in right there. I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Okay, so it would be amazing if they landed on the same thing, those two infectious blights. That would be just perfect. And I'm probably going to start going for more resources. I might, have, might be able to get a god hand finish kind of soon. Get another harvester. Baleful Witch. Oh! Does that get rid of both blights? Wait, why do you do that? I guess that was a mistake. And that's why, um... I forgot, almost... Maybe he didn't say GG in time. But, yeah, I think that was definitely a mistake by him getting rid of both blights there. Like, he used the Bethel Witch and both blights got destroyed. Hmm. Well... I'm going to try to get another ranked match video in for today, so sit tight. Alright guys, here we go. Mus, mus, ficker, mus, fike? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, good, good scrolls in my starting hand, but 
no low drops, so I'll draw a new hand. And again, back to back games with very bad starting hands. But luckily for us, we were able to draw a surrender last game. And order this time. Okay. Order does give a decent amount of a decent amount of trouble to me. Because of like down defenders and stuff like that, but hopefully that earth and mirth helps me break through. It'd be great if I got like a brave turn two, that'd be great. And he doesn't have a turn two order creature. Okay. Two manuals isn't that bad because I can just play them consecutively then, so there we go. And he's probably late game order because there's no two drop. And he I don't think he mulliganed. So if he likes his hand, he had no two drop. This is probably late game order. So. And I have no rumbles in this deck, so there could be a problem with things like that, like the waking stones. Alright. You know what? I'm not sure what to sacrifice here. He's going to be able to get his things behind that waking stones. I could either rush idols. Um, Earthen Mirth is a good scroll. You know what? Let's let's actually let's actually get down a fertile soil. All right. I kind of regret do sacrificing that Earthen Mirth out of brave though. But because if he plays a righteous partisan now, he doesn't get a draw. Royal Skirmisher. Oh, maybe he's not Lake Mortar. I mean, Royal Skirmisher is a very good scroll. I could play it in any kind of deck. But that means that. Yeah, it was stupid because now I'm just gonna veteran. <laughs> yeah, he knows what's up. <laughs> I'm just going to destroy it with a veteran. So this is order. I mean, I don't mind playing low health creatures. Doesn't have a good way of mass removing my stuff unless he's playing mega nels. And I'll get rid of the mangy wolf. So yeah, that was. He shouldn't have put that skirmish right in the middle of the board. An extra I can follow up with a brother of the wolf and a kinfolk brave. So, that is the plan. Maybe. Alright, it's so only five versus. I don't have to worry. Oh, Prisoners of War. So, he's playing one of those decks. It's just, I mean, it's not really a weird thing. It's just kind of like, it's almost like a substitute for Imperial Resources. It gets you, like, um, a lot of scrolls. So you, you play this and you draw three scrolls. But then those scrolls you're probably just gonna end up sacrificing. You probably have like a he probably has like a loyal darkling or a revenant, uh, copper automaton and like a ragged wolf. So yeah, uh, I don't like getting rid of all these rallies, but whatever. Um, I'm actually gonna move up because I'm willing to I'm willing to waste like two and three damage on this waking stones. I don't want it to stick around. I don't like him having like a safe haven to put his creatures. Luckily for me, he didn't put his uh, Royal Skirmisher behind there before. And interesting, he's putting that behind there. That means he probably has like a speed he's waiting on, maybe. I'm actually going to sacrifice Ragdoll here. I could should probably keep it for that Waking Stones, though. Uh, it's actually a tough decision. I will... I'm actually going to get rid of it. Because I have this brother of the wolf. So. I could run away. And. If I run away, then I might just. I'm avoiding him and then being big Manganel range. He can start doing Manganels. So let's actually engage him. Engage him in battle. Uh, and you'll get me more resources as we go along. He'll, he'll bring me to eight resources, hopefully. And this, I don't have like barely have any rallies or crimson bulls yet. I keep sacrificing them. So getting more resources, being god hand range, is crucial. Now, if he has speed, he can attack with that guy. But it's, I mean, just speeding this turn just to destroy those two guys. I mean, yeah, probably worth it. So yeah, that's what he's gonna do. But it's not like devastating to me. Okay. So now let's 
get rid of this quake for scrolls and go ahead and destroy that hmm and then I'm just going to place down my units a little bit worried about this arbalester because you could have like Roasted bean potions and stuff like that, like a double roasted bean potion, or like a single roasted bean potion, like a blessing of haste and like focuses. That would be bad. Um. I always like do that. Like I think I'm whispering somebody. All right, I like to have ragged wolves in my hand. Nognus is good. Let's actually get rid of the Nognus though. I don't want to flood the board. All right, that's why I want to get rid of the Nognus because I can get this. Okay, so I can go ragged wolf. Uh, I think I want to get rid of this thing right now. So I can go double ragged wolf with a crimson bull. Or I can go Ragged Wolf with an Earthen Mirth. And I'm gonna go Ragged Wolf with an Earthen Mirth, so I'm saving the other Ragged Wolf and the Crimson Bull. And I'm not going to bring that back in his hand. I would rather just deal idle damage. Okay, so that's. This is good. Now I have seven resources. If I top deck a God Hand, I could probably win this game next turn. Okay. So let's see. Let's top deck a god hand. As in, top deck it from the scroll you draw by default, not like sacrificing your scroll, because then I wouldn't have enough, I wouldn't be able to sacrifice resources as well. So he's going for uh, more resources, so maybe he has the mango speed mango play, but wouldn't hurt me that much right now. I'm mean, separated to oak kind of well for. Actually, not really if he has like Relorost buff to like 4 attack and stuff like that. That would be bad for me. Only did a little bit of vital damage so far. By me, like, engaging his Arbalizer before, it kind of made a little less vital damage now, but now I've very good control of the board. And there's a God Hand. Nice game. I top decked it what I needed to top deck. So that actually is good that I topped it this turn because the general behind the waking zones, like that could lead to some bad things for me. So yeah, that's game, right? Um Can I What can I do here? Was I able to Destroy four idols. I don't know. Well, GGWP. Quick win, so it's good that I was able to get two matches in this video. So that will be it for today. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.